Hey, it's Pete here at the River Kings, and today it's a very cold, rainy day in November, just kind of a cold November rain. Hmm. And uh, anyway, I want to go over today with you the Voltaic Systems solar charger that I use on my kayak camping trips. So I want to start out with a, a comment on one of my videos from the Namakagan trip. And this one is from Brad, seriously? And this is from Brad Moore of the YouTube. So I just want to start out with a comment from my Namakagan River series, uh, part five. This comment comes from Brad Moore, who is of the YouTube channel, Teardrop Trippin' Brad Moore. He writes, looking for recommendations. We are looking at a five day adventure coming up in the spring. I have a DSLR with three batteries, three GoPro Hero Session 4s, my iPhone, my buddy's phones, which they'll be using for pictures, possibly some rechargeable AA batteries for the inReach, and maybe even a drone. We'll be having to portage a lot, so weight is an issue. Basically, we need to pack for a hiking trip that we are also having to carry our canoes through the woods, and we are planning to do a single carry on the portage, that is. This will be a trip of a lifetime for us, so reliability will be an issue because we want to document the trip. I've always been able to get by with my fully charged batteries and five cell phone battery packs. I have even carried a small and fully charged automotive jump box. However, I've been looking at the Voltaic system. How well has that worked for you? What if it rains all day for several days? How well would it work compared to the cell phone charger batteries? Thanks in advance. So basically that is a perfect intro to a review video on the Voltaic Systems Charger. And uh, thanks Brad for the comment. This was already gonna be my uh, next video, but that's just perfect timing. And uh, we hope you have a good trip. And so I'll give you the review and hopefully that'll answer some questions and uh, let's just get into it. All right, to start off, this is the Voltaic Systems battery box that I have used for, it's probably five years old, but this one, I use not only on the kayak camping trips, but also in my former job where I was taking it in the field for 14 days at a time, eight times a year. And it was a pretty rugged environment there as well. So this has gotten a lot more use in my five years uh, than I think most average folks would put it to in a lifetime of use. On the Namakagan trip, uh, the part five, you can see I was having issues with it and two things happened. Somewhere in this linkage was a short, as well as the battery would only charge my stuff until it got down to three bars, and then it would act as if it was dead, it would stop charging. And as long as it was above three bars, it would charge perfectly, but it got down to three bars, uh, no more charge. So there's something going on in the battery that uh, kind of let me down. So I had a short in the wire and the battery acted up all at once. And I was saved by my friend, Kevin Champ of the channel Wandering Electrician. He was out there with us. He basically let me borrow his RAV power. And this is the 22,000 milliamp hour battery. It did perfectly. But we had a problem of momentary stupidity because in an effort to see if this would work as a long-term solution, I put the adapter with the mini USB port and tried to charge directly from the panel, which was stupid because I know better. And Kevin's an electrician, neither one of us were thinking. We were just excited that we may have found a way to get around it. I melted his battery that day because the panel was working fantastically and the short was coming in and out. And I guess I found a sweet spot where the short worked. And uh, yeah, I melted his battery. So this is your new battery, Kevin, but I figured I'd use it also in the video. But um, so I got a hold of Voltaic and I'll set that aside. They have sent me the new upgraded and updated uh, battery box and battery. And the reason the box is bigger is because this battery, this is their new one, 24,000 milliamp hour. It's just a little bigger than that and does not fit in the old Nanak box. And if you look at the digital readout, there you go. Uh, shows you your charge capacity. If you want to change your output, just hold that button down till it blinks then you can cycle through between 12 volt, 16 volt, 19 volt, 24 volt. Just leave it alone and it'll settle in on that one and uh, you're good to go. There's all your jacks. That's the input. 
That's USB QC, USB C PD, and then the output. Now I will say that even though this battery is not working in its total capacity anymore, that I'm still very happy and pleased with the life I got out of it. That's five years, 500 days in a military environment, 500 miles, in addition to those 500 days, 500 miles of River King trips. That's a lot for a LiPo battery. Uh, and it still works, it's just not working 100%. Uh, the new one feels a little more rugged. It's got these little rubber end caps. Uh, if I get anywhere near the same life I just got out of that, I'll be happy with that as well. So what does that all mean for charging your stuff on a trip? Uh, and basically what I told Brad and what I'll talk about is you kind of need to figure out what are your battery usage uh, demands. Well, let's break it down this way. Uh, my main consumption of energy is my GoPro batteries. And one battery is 1500 milliamp hours, which I can do 16 full charges on here without ever having to charge this back up. So if I'm charging six to eight GoPro batteries a day, I might have two to three days of keeping my stuff going without ever seeing the sun or ever getting a charge on this. I also carry a few little backups. What I will do in the future is carry a RAF power. This is 36 bucks on Amazon, a pretty affordable option if you're looking at getting into uh, keeping your stuff charged. So even if you didn't have the voltaic systems, if you had some RAF power banks, three or four at 36 bucks, we'll just say 40 bucks a piece. If you had four of these and put those four in a box, then you can get through a trip uh, pretty safe to say you'd be able to get through a trip charging most of what a normal person would ever use on any kind of week long kayak camping trip. And that would run you about 160 bucks. So not a bad option. In fact, what I'm gonna do in the future is right in here with my voltaic battery will be my RAF power. I can also direct charge during the day while this is charging off the panel, it can do pass through charging to the RAF power. I can charge both of those items up in one day of sun. Gives me 46,000 milliamp hours. I'm charging, like I say, six, maybe eight GoPro batteries on a full day. And at the end of a trip, I'll have about a thousand gigs of footage to start sorting through on my edit. So I'm, I might be going a little more than the average person as far as capturing. One problem you'll have with a static source of power, in other words, your, your complete capability of power is in the box when you leave the house and you don't have a way to re-up that on the trip, is cold weather. If you get into some cold weather, it will drain your batteries more than you think sometimes, depending on the cold. And then you'll be in trouble. With the solar charter, you can still get that battery back up. To, all you gotta do is have a little sunny day. I'm in the market for the sustainability of going out and just burning it down and refilling day by day. Every day I have a full battery bank um, with just a few hours of sun. On a normal day, after charging it, it may go down one bar, maybe two um, of the six in there. And it's back up again by the end of the day. So. I like keeping it topped off. There's nothing worse than having to meter your footage or meter your electronics uh, that, or technology that you're running on a trip because you're running out of power. It's a miserable feeling. So I'm of the mind, go heavy, stay heavy on your power and uh, you might carry a little more weight, but it's much better than running out of power. So let me show you what I have in the box. Of course, it's the V88 battery and I'll be carrying the RAV power. Then under that, I have my information on a tag yak sticker. And thank you, Bobby Darren. Keep your information with your equipment. If someone opens that box, they'll know who to call. If they're honest, I might get my box back. I have two four-foot connections to bring the power from my solar panel into my box. That's the pigtail running through the box. And then it's a smorgasbord of all kinds of things to charge the V88 battery and to charge items off the V88 battery. And just a lot of ways to do that. All right, so let me go ahead and show you how to hook it up for daytime use, going ahead and charging. Get your pigtail, go ahead and put it in the input jack, and you're good to go. Now, for today's sake, I'll just go ahead and assume I need to go ahead and charge my RAF power. So I'll hook that up. Now in the box, my 
Voltaic V88 battery is charging in addition to the RAV power. Go ahead and seal that up. Take your four foot line, in the back of the box here, put the male end in. You hear it snap, makes a waterproof connection. You bring your panel over, same waterproof connection. Providing you had sun, you would be charging. So the panel is very rugged. Uh, like I say, this one has been on the back of the kayak for 500 miles of River King trips. And that involves everything from salt water to easy water to raging class four rocks, portages. I mean, you name it. If we did it, this was on the back of the boat. They come with these little adapter clips that screw onto the back of the panel. And I use that to connect into my deck rigging. Uh, so my deck lines, uh, I'll strap to them. It sits on top of the paddle, and if I'm lucky, I'll be able to take it outside just a little bit if this rain will stop and show you how it hooks in. It's an aluminum back. It's rigid. It's got some kind of uh, epoxy or something covering the panel, so this is all 100% waterproof. They floated it out to sea for months or something crazy, and it was still charging when they came back and checked on it. And you can see the, the wire coming out and then runs to your waterproof connection on into your box. All right, so what does all this weigh? Pretty sizable box. You open it up, I've got the RAV power, the voltaic battery, all those connectors and the panel, all that together weighs about seven and a half pounds. If I wanted to shave a little weight, I could go with just four RAV power banks, put them in their own smaller box like the Nanak 904, and the needed connectors, that would weigh about five and a half pounds. So you could shave a couple pounds off uh, going away from the solar if you still wanted to have sufficient power. If you're going in warm weather, you don't want to mess with the charger. Think about getting three, four of these guys. They're not very expensive, they do great. A lot of people use them. If you're wanting to have the ultimate system to get down a river for an an infinite amount of time that you can stay on the river all year, doesn't matter. Uh, producing your own power with solar, then give the Voltaic a look. Fantastic company, fantastic items out there. If you go to their website, you need to go to the shop by category. And when you get there, click on kayak or canoe um, and they'll get you into all these. I'll also put a link in the description for the RAV power. I'll put links in the description for the Voltaic. Um, all that will be down there. So this is the setup I'm using going forward. I've used a bunch of smaller car chargers in the past. I'm gonna ditch those and I'm gonna stick with the RAV power bank here. Uh, throw that in with the Voltaic systems uh, and this will be like the backup. When I get to camp, I can hook up stuff to this, hook up stuff to the RAV power, get everything charged real quick. The RAV power has three ports on it and uh, you can charge three devices on that. I can charge several on this. And then I'll hook these two back up, put them in the box and charge those back up, no problem during the day. That is gonna be, uh, I just don't think there's really gonna be a better solution to everything than that. So you had mentioned, Brad, about the small battery packs, probably similar to this. This is about 5,000 milliamp hours. The RAV power is 22,000. So four of these would almost equal one of those, both in size and capabilities. Now there'd be merits to having a ton of these as well, but I think for 36 bucks, I don't think you can get all these for cheaper than you can get just one of these. So something to think about. All right, we still got a little rain noise. I apologize, but here we are. I've got the panel on the boat and you can see I use my webbing strap and just basically link it in right there to the, to the deck cord in four places. And I do that on top of my spare paddle and it locks in there securely and firmly. It doesn't go anywhere. I've had that in class four. I've had it in everything. You can watch the videos. It does well. The cord makes the waterproof connection and then just goes into the cockpit. And this actually is no problem when I put my skirt on. It just goes right around there. The skirt does, does perfectly. No issues there. And the old box, I used to stow right there behind the seat. The new one is just a little bit bigger, a little too big. So I'm doing a little switcheroo. And I'm gonna put that box up there in front of my pedals. 
I do wish the new box was just a touch smaller so I could get it behind the seat like I used to put the old box. But I usually carry a couple uh, Pelican cases up front there. I'll just put those behind the seat. It's neither here nor there. Uh, it'll still get me by. So as you can see, it's up there nestled in securely. Depending on your kayak, uh, finding a place for the box, that'll probably be your only issue that you would need to sort out. Just to wrap it up, if you're in the market for the solar charging option, give the Voltaic Systems a look. They're the best out there. I've used them for years. I love their stuff. Great company, great products. Uh, give them a look.